Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, YouTube. And good morning, America. Let me ask you a question. Uh, what would you do if, 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 if God told you to do something that would go against all logic or scientific reason? What would you do if God, would, what God told you to do something that would cause you, your family members, to turn their back on you? What would you do if God told you to do something with that, that will force you out of your comfort zone? And what would you do if God told you to do something that goes against everything that you've been taught all your life? What would you do if if God told you to do something that you had you just can't even comprehend yourself? What would you do if God told you to do something and you didn't want to do it? Well, what would you do, Facebook? What would you do, YouTube? What would you do, America, if God instructed you to do something and you just didn't want to do it? You know, it's so funny because we don't always understand. And most times we're not going to understand the instructions of God as far as why he would have us to do certain things. Because it goes against our flesh. And you know, it, it's so funny because what if God told you to marry somebody? What if God told you to go apologize to somebody? What if God told you to go back and, and, and make it right, even though you were not the one that caused the, the uh, division? And even though you know you hadn't done anything wrong, what would you do? See, it's easy to love somebody when they love you. Because all you're doing then is returning the favor. You ain't done nothing significant. But real love comes in when, uh, when you're able to love somebody who just cursed you out. When you able to love somebody who did you wrong and, and you know they did you wrong and they know they did you wrong. Real love is when you're able to look somebody in the face and say I love you and mean it from the depths of your heart. And mean it from your very being. Even though they have done all evil against you. Even though they lied on you. They talked about you behind you, you, your back. They even pl plotted your demise and you found out. But love will cover. So what do you do when God requires you to do something that take that, that makes you die to your flesh daily? That makes you take up that cross daily? What do you do when everything God is telling you when everything he's telling you to do will force you to trust him alone? Most time what we do we pick up the phone and we need a confirmation from Miss So and So or Daddy So and So or Prophet So and So. Or we need a confirmation, and we want a confirmation from everybody but God, and He is the one that gave us the instructions. What do you do when God tells you to do something, and it looks like you're gonna be the underdog in the whole thing? What do you do, America? What do you do? What do you do when God tells you to do something that will leave your bank account empty? Yeah, I'm touching on something now, talking about folks' money. What do you do when God tell you to wed somebody who you know, just like he did with the prophet Hosea, who you know is a whore? That's what the Bible says, y'all. Don't get mad at me. A, 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 go take a wife of whoredom. That's what the Bible says. He told Hosea the prophet to do this. Don't get mad at me. But what do you do when God requires you to do something? And it's going to make you look like a pretty nut. Really. What do you do when God tells you to do something that's going to have fingers pointing at you? It's going to have people questioning your sanity. It's going to even have you to question your own mental state sometimes. So what do you do? Having done all to stand, you just stand. Whatever God tells you to do, you take him at his word and you trust God. See, faith is the ability to trust God even when you can't trace him. Faith is the ability to take God at his word, even though he have not given you any further instructions. But just come. 
God. Faith is a thing. Faith is a catalyst or faith is that bridge that will allow you to get from point A to from point A to point B without any visible steps. My God, did you catch that? Faith in God will move mountains on your behalf. So if God has told you to do something, even though you don't you you may not quite understand it, and even though you may not fully want to do it, trust God. One thing I've learned in my walk with the Lord, He has never and will never and can never let me down. Reason being that he is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. God don't take his word back. He's not schizophrenic and he's not bipolar. When God said he mean it. So if God tell you to do something, no matter what it is, you obey God. Your obedience is better than sacrifice. Stop picking up the phone looking for other folks to validate what God has told you. They didn't, they didn't give you the instructions God did. So if you want to talk to anybody about it, you go to God. You go to God. You trust God. Even when you don't understand it, you trust God. Because on the other side of your obedience, that's your blessing. A lot of us are missing our blessing because we refuse to be totally obedient. Half obedience is full of disobedience. I don't care what you call it. If you halfway obey God, you might well not do it at all. Because see, that little bit that you did, you still walking in disobedience. If God tell you to do something, just do it. So what do you do when God tell you to do something? You trust God and you take your first step. And he going to lead you the rest of the way. Amen. God bless you.